configure numbered standard IPv4 access list. This is the addressing table. Three routers, three pieces, uh, a web server. Okay, three routers, three PCs, and web server. Local area network 10, local area network 11, local area network 30, and local area network 20. 10, 11, 20, and 30. Plan and access list implementation. Investigate the current network configuration. It is important to confirm that you have full connectivity. Okay, for example, go with PC1. Common prompt. Ping. From PC1, ping PC2. PC2 IP address 11.10 192.168.11.10 Success From PC1 ping PC3 PC3 IP address 30.10 30.10 Success. From PC1 ping web server. Web server IP address 20.254. 20.254. Success. From PC1 ping web server IP address 20.254. Evaluate two network policies and plan access list implementation. The following network policies are implemented on R2, this router, R2. The 192.168.11.0.24 prefix network is not allowed access to the web server. On the 192.168.20.0.24 prefix network, all other access is permitted. Okay, 11, this, this network is not allowed access to the web server. So the source is this network, 192.168.11.0, and the destination is the web server, is the host, not the network. This is the, the source is a network address, and web server, the destination is a host address. Without interfering with other traffic, okay, all other access is permitted. An access list must be created on R2. Okay, configure, apply, and verify a standard access list. Configure and apply a number at a standard access list. Create an access list using the number one on R2. Okay, and use this, these two commands. Okay, go to R2. Enter, enable, configure, terminal, and on global configuration mode. Okay, uh, to do this, you can use a standard access list or extended access list. First, try to use an, a standard access list. Access dash list number one space. And a standard access list is only based on, on the source, and uh, in this case is source network address 192.168.11.0. Go to R2. So you can use the, the NI keyword and place the source. The source is a network address 192.168.11.0, and this is the wildcard address or inverse mask for. 24 prefix. Okay. Enter.
okay um, all other access is permitted uh, says dash list sorry dash list one permit any other traffic enter okay deny something and permit any other now we place this on the correct interface on R2 R2 has uh, three interfaces and okay and if this is the source the network 11 and the destination is the server you can do the following there is a line from the source to the destination okay okay but there is uh, another path okay another way to reach the destination And that direction is the following. So you can configure the access list on one of these three interfaces. If you don't know what path will be used, it's better to configure on the gigabit interface and the direction is outgoing traffic because you can see that the arrow is coming out of the interface for the access list to actually filter traffic it must be applied to some router operation apply the access list by placing it for outbound traffic on the gigabit 000 interface okay and configure this uh, this access list on the interface okay click on r2 interface What interface is, is uh, interface gigabit, gigabit zero zero. Gigabit zero zero IP uh, access dash group one, the number of the access list and uh, the direction is outgoing. Enter. Exit. Okay, verify. Show access list on R2. And show access dash list. Enter. Now you can see the configuration. Access list number one and two, two lines, two entries. Okay, the following network policies are implemented on R3. Okay, R3. The 192.168.10.0.24 network is not allowed to communicate with the 192.168 through the 0 0.24 network. All other access is permitted. Okay, the source is a network address and the destination also a network address. The source is this 192.168.10.0 network and the destination is this 192.168 field D0 network. To restrict access from the 192.168.10.0.24 network to the 192.168 field D.0.24 network without interfering with other traffic. Okay, on R3. Okay, now uh, configure and apply a number 
extend, a standard access list on R3. Okay, click on R3. Enter. Enable configure terminal. Create an access list using the number one on R3. Okay, and use these commands. Okay, access list dash list number one. Okay, and one eight one sixty eight ten zero network is not allowed. Okay, so use the the nine keyword. And a standard access list are based on the source address. In this case, the source is one eight two one sixty eight ten zero network. Okay, click on R three one eight two one sixty eight ten zero and the white card mask or inverse mask for twenty four is this. Enter. And all other access is permitted. Access list one permit any any other traffic. And now apply this access list on an interface. Okay, if this is the source and this is the destination, you can do the following. Okay, this is one path to reach the destination. And that direction is the following. But there is another path. Okay, there are two paths to reach the destination. And if you don't know what path will be used, it's better to configure the access list on the gigabit interface, on the LAN interface, and outgoing traffic, out. Because you can see that the arrow is coming out of the interface. Okay, and the interface is gigabit zero zero, go to R3. Interface gigabit zero zero, IP access group. The number of the access list, one, out, out and exit. Okay, verify with show access list and show access dash list. Very, very good. Then verify. Show running config, show IP interface gigabit zero zero. For example, on R2, show running config. Okay. The access list applied on interface gigabit zero zero. The access list. Show IP interface gigabit zero zero okay gigabit zero zero outgoing access list is one okay go to r3 show running config the access list placed on gigabit zero zero the access list Show IP interface gigabit zero zero. Gigabit zero zero outgoing access list is one. Okay, and do the following uh, test. Ping from one eight two one sixty eight ten ten is uh, PC1 10 that 10 
common prompt. Okay, from PC1, ping to 192, 168, 11, 10. Okay, from PC1, ping to 11, 10. That is PC2. Okay, 11, 10 is PC2. Okay, 11, 10, success. Very good, success uh, to... 20.254, the web server. Success. Okay, very good. From 11 tank. Okay, 11 tank is PC2. From PC2 to web server. From PC2 to web server, should fail. Okay. PC2, common prompt, ping 192.168.20.254. Destination host unreachable. Okay, repeat. Destination host unreachable. So, fails. Very good. From 1010, PC1 to 30.10. From PC1 to PC3. Till the data. Destination host unreachable. Okay, fails. Very good. From 11 10 to 30 data. From PC2 to PC3. 30 data. Okay. Success. Okay, very good. Um, ping from 30.10 to 20.254. From PC3 to web server. Ping 192.168.20.254. Success. Okay, very good. And now, show access list. Go to R2. Show access list. Now you can see eight matches, eight matches. Uh, you should see the output that indicates the number of packets that have matched each line of the access list. Okay. Uh, Eight, eight packets denied, eight packets permitted. Go to R3. So what's this list? Four packets denied and eight packets permitted. Thank you very much, 100%.